Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahasham, Rakah, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ. Bahasham is in the name. Rakah, Kodash is the Holy Spirit. And also Shalom to the 144,000 men. That's laboring in this truth for the sake of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. And shalom on to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and the sincerity shalom. On. And this is your brother Kodash coming back here with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. All right, and the title of this video is, is The War in Heaven. All right, because there there is going to be a war in heaven. All right, and contrary to you know, to what is brought out within Christianity, all right? You know, they say there was war in heaven, age, uh, Satan, God and Satan fought, and uh, Satan, uh, God casts Satan out of heaven, all right? And, and now Satan is running this world, okay? That's not true, all right? Satan does run this world but he he runs it through esau edom the so-called white nation all right and and saying he 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 does exactly what the heavenly father says to do all right because we that's proven in the book of job you know i'm not i'm not going to go into all that you know but and it also says in the book of james all right uh the devils they tremble they believe and they tremble okay so the Heavenly Father, all right, he has complete order, you know, within the within every everything. Everything is done under the order and under the will of the Heavenly Father. All right. There is there is wickedness in this world, all right, because the Heavenly Father ordained it. The Heavenly Father ordained that the so-called white nation that they did that, that that they will be in rulership. Alright, and they're gonna uh promote wickedness and all that. All right. Why? For their destruction. All right. And this has happened because the children of Israel, we disobeyed the Heavenly Father. When you read the scriptures, all up and down the scriptures, it says that we disobeyed the Heavenly Father. All right. So he's going to punish us. All right. He's punishing us now. That's why now we are in hell. All right. But soon we're going to be in heaven. All right. Because this is Esau's heaven. All right. We ask the so-called white person, how they doing? They go, a lot of them say another day in paradise. Why? Because this is their paradise. All right, but let me just get into the title of this topic. All right, the war in heaven. All right, let me start with the uh, book of Revelations. Revelations chapter 12. And let me start at verse. Revelations 12, let me start at verse 7. It says, and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. All right, and by those few scriptures there, we can clearly see, you know, that that dragon that represents Esau. All right, because it says the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan. And that old serpent going back into the garden. All right, because that that serpent in the garden was um, the serpent in the garden was Esau in reincarnation. Okay, because it says more subtile than any creature. All right, and in the reincarnation, that's Esau. That's Esau Edom. All right, and then when he came back as Esau Edom, uh, he lost his pigmentation. All right, because he was, you know, he, he pretty much lost his melanin. Okay, and he was made as Esau. All right, that going back to that serpent in the garden. All right, more subtile than any creature. That's Esau Edom to the max. All right, let me start. Let me start that again. Revelations twelve and seven. And there was war in heaven. 
Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought and his angels. So there's going to be war in heaven, man. All right. You know, uh, there's also another scripture in Revelations. Uh, make war with the lamb. All right. Because who's going to be leading? The, who's going to be leading? You know, who's going to be leading the pack? All right. Yahweh Shai. It says, behold, he cometh with clouds. All right. Clouds represents chariots in the scriptures. All right. So behold, he cometh with clouds, man. He represents Yahweh Shai and coming with coming with those chariots, man. So the Lord, he's going to lead. He's going to lead the way, man. And Esau Edom, that's the pride of Esau Edom. He actually thinks that he has the ability to win against Yahweh Shai. You know, but what did that all come down to? It all comes down to. You know the Lord hardening their heart to show His uh, to show His glory. Let me actually get that in the Book of Romans. All right, everything lines up. Uh, I believe that Romans, uh, Romans nine, okay. Romans nine and verse. Romans 9 and 17, it says, For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. All right, and who's modern day Pharaoh that's holding the Israelites captive? Esau Edom. And, um, Khan, this is. I want this verse too, verse 18, Romans 9 and verse 18 says, Therefore hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will he hardeneth. See, the Lord is hardening the heart of Esau. All right, you know, to make it think that he can actually uh fight against the uh the heavenly father Yahweh Shai and the angels, man. They actually think that they can fight against the Yahweh Shai and the angels, because if the Lord didn't put that put that spirit of, of pride and the heart in their hearts. All right, then, then his movie, uh, his movie wouldn't go along as the scriptures say. All right, but the Lord, He controls the minds of, of of the people. He controls the minds. He controls our minds, man. Doesn't matter if you're an Israelite or if you're a heathen. The Lord controls you. Okay, so He's gonna harden your. He's gonna harden uh, Esau's heart. All right, these elites. He's going to harden their hearts. That's why they had the uh, they had the the image. Um, I'm going to have it posted here, but let me just go to it so I can just read what it says. Con it says the Pentagon says Pentagon sets up UFO task force, man. Why? So they can fight against Yahweh Shai. UFO task force, man. All right, these are UFOs to you people identify flying objects because you don't read the scriptures you don't believe but these are ifos man identify flying objects man these are chariots of the heavenly father these are the angels so let me go back here ah so the lord he's hardening the hearts He's going to harden the heart of Esau. He's hardening their heart each and every day, man, to promote, you know, to to continue in their wickedness, man. So all this is all for their destruction. Uh, so I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read this again and go on to the next scriptures. Revelations 12 and 7 it says, "And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. Dragon being Esau, and the dragon fought and his angels. So the uh, so Esau and his army." It says, and prevail not. They're not going to prevail, man. They're not going to win. That's like, because uh, the Lord, he's he's referred to as the potter and we're the clay. That's like the clay, you know, getting up. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm beat up the person that made him, the potter, man. It's not going to happen, man. All right. It says, neither was their place found any more in heaven. All right. The scripture says in, in the book of Job, all right, as a, as a dream, man. And they're going to be vanished away. Let me actually get it. having trouble to roughly paraphrase but one second 
I believe it's Job. Job twenty, God. Job chapter twenty and verse three. All right, going back to uh, what it said in Revelation that they shall not have any more place in heaven. It says, "Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? And who's the wicked according to the scriptures? We read Malachi. Uh, um." I don't want to get a mistake, and I believe it's Malachi 1 and 4. Khan, the border of wickedness, Malachi 1 and 4. That's speaking of Esau, Edom. Let me just read it just for edification's sake. It says, whereas Edom, oh, let me start at the top. Malachi 1 and 1, the burden of the word of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord, yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord, yet I love Jacob? You know, and that's that's our people, you know, that's our people now. You know, they don't think that, that Yahweh Shemi al Shah loves them, man. All right, because, you know, they their uh, parents may die. All right, you know, they're, they're placed in the ghettos, you know, but this is all for our punishment, man. All right, it says, as it says in the, in the book of Baruch and the Apocrypha, all right, we were sold to the nations for our punishment, not for our destruction, but for our punishment, man. All right, verse three, it says, and I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will reach. All right, Salaki, so I was cut off, but Malachi one and four again, let me start, to start at four. It says, whereas Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. They shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, have indignation forever. Indignation meaning righteous anger. All right, see the Lord, his anger towards Esau, Edom is justified, man. Look at all the, look at all the wickedness that they're doing, man. Okay, so I just want to get that real quick. Let me jump back to Job. Job 20 and verse 5, it says that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment, though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? He shall fly away as a dream. And shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. You see? Esau, Edom, he's going to be eradicated. Demolished. He's going to perish like, like shit after a thousand years of slavery. All right? Going back to the book of uh, Obadiah, the, uh, the Obadiah in the 18th verse, if I'm not mistaken. All right? He's going to be eradicated. After a thousand years of slavery, man, it sucks to be an Edomite. All right. Verse eight, it says, and prevailed not. Revelations 12 and eight and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. You see? East, this is Esau Edom, man. Okay? Because the spiritual demon Satan, you know, he's still gonna he's still gonna be around in the kingdom, man. Okay, is is Esau Edom? He's gonna be eradicated. Okay. Eradicated, man. And uh let me get the next one here. Alright, Revelation one and seven. It says, Revelations 1 and 7, Behold, he, meaning Yahweh Shai, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. So the Heavenly Father, he's going to come with the fathership and the, uh, and, and the other numerous numerous chariots. As it says in the book of Psalms, uh, thousands, thousand thousands, you know, roughly paraphrasing, that's millions, man. And every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. Those that pierced 
Yahweh Shai on the cross. Those those people are back today, man, and they're going to get it. It says, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. All right, all they're going to they're going to be wailing, man. It's going to be a dreadful sight when the, when the heavenly father comes, man. Even for us, all right, even for the hopeful elect, Lord willing, we part of that number. All right, because we are in the flesh. All right, but the spirit is going to overtake the flesh. All right, and. And we're going to be joyful, man. We're going to say, call all y'all by Shema Shah. We're going to glory at the presence of the Lord, man. You know, so that was really the point with that revelation. Uh, let me get this one here in the book of, uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5. Let me start at the top. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. And made no account of his labors. All right, the righteous man, that's speaking of the elect. All right, shall stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him, and made a no account of his labors. All right, all these people that make a no account of our labors, call us crazy. All right, why, why are we out here preaching? All right, we doing this so we can hopefully be delivered, man, because this is a commandment of the heavenly Father to go out to the highways and byways. And teach the people. All right. The Lord didn't say uh, build a church. All right. And and have women and children come in and congregate, man. Okay. The women are supposed to stay at home. All right. And, and teach the children. All right. And, ha and how do the women learn? The women learn from the man. Okay. Verse 2. It says, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation, the elect salvation, so far beyond all that they look for. All right. Why? Because you people don't read. You don't know that the Heavenly Father is going to come in a so-called UFO, which is a chariot. These people don't know that, man, because they don't read. OK, it says when they see it, when they see the Heavenly, when they see Yahusha and the angels coming with the chariots, they're going to be troubled with terrible fear. They're going to be frightened, man. All right, it says, and they shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation, man. All right, they're going to be thinking like it's an alien invasion. All right, they're going to see the beams coming down, beaming up the elect, man. It's going to be it's going to be a, an amazing sight, man. All right, it even says amazed, man. They're going to be amazed at it, man. Like, wow. What they were saying was really true. These cons uh, quote unquote conspiracy theorists, well, they was right. You know, and it says that's why the next verse says what it says. It says, and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. All right. What's a proverb of reproach? Reproach means shame. All right. So calling us uh, crazy, you know, calling us all these types of names. All oh, y'all got these dresses on. All right. Y'all bigots. All right. We done heard all types of stuff. All right, elders, uh, the apostles, elder brothers on down, her all types of stuff, man. All right, those proverbs of approach, man. Okay, but it's all good. You know, we, the scripture says that we're going to be made fools for you. How about Shimei Shai's sake, man? All right, but at that time, they're going to be, they're going to be uh, repenting in anguish of spirit, man. They're going to be, they're going to be, uh, they're going to be upset. You know, and it's all gonna be worth it, man. That's why this labor that we're doing is 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 all gonna be worth it, man. People think that we crazy, all right, and that we doing some weird stuff, but that's really you people, man. You people are crazy. You people are doing weird stuff, all right. You're not serving the Lord. That's weird, man. If you're not serving the Lord, you know, you know, you're on some weird shit. All right, it says we fools. Accounted his life madness <laughs> and his end to be without honor, man. They count our life madness, man. You y'all don't celebrate Christmas, man. Y'all some weirdos. But you the fool, man. Celebrating Christmas, celebrating the New Year's and that Bacchus spirit, man. Look up Bacchus, man. All right, always in that partying spirit, man. Okay, Halloween, thanks Thanksgiving, man. Valentine's Day. 
Easter, 4th of July, you know, all these pagan wicked holidays, man, you know, the fact that we don't celebrate it, y'all count our life as madness, man, what do you do for fun, do you guys have fun, there's holy days in the scriptures, man, Feast of Tabernacles, Feast of Dedication, the Passover, okay, Day of Atonement, all right, even though Day of Atonement is a it's a high holy day, but that's not that's not a day. It's it's a solemn assembly, man. These people don't like to be serious, man. They just like to uh, party and bullshit, like Biggie said, man. Party and bullshit, okay? But no balance, okay? No balance to you people's lives, man. All right, that's why you're gonna be counted as fools in that day, man. And Lord willing, we not counted as fools, man. Us that's doing this this work, man. You know, but amazed at the strangeness of the salvation, man, because our salvation is going to be via the chariots. OK, because once let me actually get this real quick. Uh, come on, let me get this real quick. Revelation 7, 17 and verse 14, it says these shall make war with the lamb. Speaking of these other nations, because. Uh, these other nations, they're going to be battling uh, World War III. They're going to be battling, uh, battling each other, man. All right. But once once your house shot pops on the scene, they're going to, all right. Uh, like it says, when you read up, it says, let me read verse 13. It says, these have one mind shall give their strength and power unto the beast. All right. So when they see the Heavenly Father and the angels come, all right, they're going to, the Lord's going to harden their hearts. They're all fight against uh, Yahweh Shah and his angels. All right, but look what it says here. Revelation 17 and 14, these shall make war with the lamb. The lamb meaning, the lamb being Yahweh Shah. It says, and the lamb shall overcome them, for he is Lord of lords. You see? He's the potter, man. Okay? The Lord of lords. Lords means what, man? Master, ruler. The Lord is the master ruler over these other... Uh, lower level lords man all right because these top heathens all right they are considered lords man lord is just a, a title man it's not uh the heavenly father's real name you know so lord can be lord is just master or ruler man okay uh it says and the lamb shall overcome them for he is lord of lords and king of kings and they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful the elect all right, so I wanted to get that. Shall make war with the lamb. That's why they building this UFO task force, man. All right. And I seen somebody on Facebook. Uh, yeah, the UFOs can come. It's all good as long as they come in peace. They're not coming in peace, man. It was that one uh, Tracy Morgan on that one uh, commercial. I think they come in peace and then they zapping shit, man. All right, that's why it says in the book of Zechariah 5 and 1, the curse uh, the curse shall cover the earth, man, roughly paraphrasing, man. That's that fathership, man. That's going to be the curse to this earth, man, because it's going to come to destroy it. Along with the thermonuclear missiles, the chariots, man, all hell is going to come upon America, man. This place is going to be desolate. You know, you can read that in the book of Malachi, the fourth chapter, man. Neither root nor branch shall be left in this place. All right. Let me get Isaiah here. This is Isaiah chapter 31 and verse 15. Oh, Salakia. 31 and 5, Salakia. Isaiah 31 and 5 says, As birds flying, so will the Lord Yahweh. By Shimei Shah of hosts defend Jerusalem. All right, because when birds flying, they they like in a pack. You know, it's the same thing with those chariots. It was a recent video. All right, uh, with like chariots, they like they be like traveling in packs, just like birds, man. So as birds flying, so will the Lord of of the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Okay, the Lord is going to defend Jerusalem with these chariots, man, because that's going to. 
let me just finish it. It says, defending also, he will deliver it. And passing over, he will preserve it. He's going to preserve the elect. Because with those chariots, it's going to defend us. All right? Because the chariots, um, chariots are going to fight against our enemies. All right? Esau, all these other nations. All right? When World War Three kicks off, all right, and Yahushua intervenes, he's going to defend us by fighting against our enemies. And he's going to preserve us and deliver us with the chariots as well. Because the chariots are going to beam us up. Lord willing, we part of that number, man. Okay, uh, let's get, like it says in First Thessalonians, uh, uh, shall be uh, caught up together in the clouds. All right, let me just read that real quick. First Thessalonians four, and let me let me just start at sixteen. It says, First Thessalonians four sixteen, for the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel. And with the trump of the Most High, and a dead and a Mashiach shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, the chariots, to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Okay? All right? You know, beamed up in those chariots, man. All right? That's why it says here in the Revelations uh, 18. Revelations 18 and 4. It says, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues. Coming out of her, coming up into those chariots, man. That's that deliverance call. That's why it says in the book of Isaiah 26, if I'm not mistaken, all right, coming to the chambers. All right, those are, those are chariots, man. All right, we want that deliverance call, man. And I'm going to end it with this. Through the spirit, the point's been made. Isaiah 63 and verse 1. It says, Who is this that cometh from Edom? Edom is modern day America, where the where the Edomites dwell. Alright. Edomites, so-called white people, man. You should know this. It says, with dyed garments from Basria. This that it says, this that is glorious in his apparel. Traveling in the greatness of his strength. What's the greatness of his strength? What's him traveling in the greatness of his strength? Those are the chariots, man. Chariots are mighty, man. It says, I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. We know this talk about Yahweh Shai, man. Mighty to save. What does Yahweh Shai mean? He saves, he delivers. All right, it says, in his, and in his glorious apparel, man. All right, the Lord is not coming back as a man, man. Angelic force. All right, so the Pentagon, they setting up this UFO task force, all right, so they can prepare to fight against Yahweh Shai and the angels, man. And they will not prevail, man. They will not prevail. All right, they're going to be, they're going to be eradicated, man. All right, so this is all prophecy, man. This is all biblical prophecy, man. There was war in heaven, man. So with that, you know, Lord willing, this video is edifying. We close, give our praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechah, Kodash, the bounders to the apostles, that was a great milestone, peace and mercy to the house of David. To the next lesson, I say Shalom, and the Baba Bar, Shalom.